we are on our way to, well, here. To, I don't know if you can see that. To Disney World. Oh, we're on our way to Magic Kingdom. We're going to Epcot first. We're on our way to Magic Kingdom today because we're going to the cast preview of Tron. Uh, we get to go and ride Tron, uh, which will be fun. It doesn't actually open till April, April, I think it is, isn't it? The actual April 4th. Independence Day, no, April 4th. Um, so we, yeah, we're gonna go there today, so it's quite exciting. We're gonna go and ride a, a new ride. Monday, the 6th of February, today. And it's really, why are the roads so busy? I don't know. I don't like this, it's because all the dance people and cheer people and school kids are here. Buddy cheerleaders. We can go into Magic Kingdom to go to, and ride Tron, but we can't stay in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Um, we have to have a guest reservation to then stay in Magic Kingdom for the rest of the day. Which is blocked out. So. Which is blocked out, so we can't we can't do it. So what we are doing is we've got a reservation for Epcot, so we're going to go park in Epcot, then we're going to take the monorail to Magic Kingdom, because our Tron preview is in the morning, um, at about 10.30 or something, and then we are going to go back to Epcot and just kind of, it's a festival of Arts. First of all, the arts, that's what we're going to go and do for the rest of the day. We've got it all to ourselves. Now we've got to come back soon because we're boarding group 42. Boarding group 42 for Guardians of the Galaxy and it's currently 1 to 31. We might miss it, we don't know, but we're, we're just, we've got it anyway just in case. Um, but we've got Tron first, hopefully, Guardians of the Galaxy. And hold one around to ourselves. Wow. It is busy. It's busy, Taylor. You've got your wristbands. So we checked in where we needed the check in, got our wristband, and then made our way through the very busy crowd of Magic Kingdom, making sure that we didn't go, go anywhere else other than straight to Tron. And here we are at Tron. Um, we were going to get a photo pass here, um, but the line was long, so we thought we'd just keep walking. But it was really cool as you walk up. The music is very loud, it's very intense, and it's like it's just like yes, get me on the ride. Um, so we kind of had a little round and just watched the the ride go for a little bit. Um, as you can see, there wasn't many you know, people there, around, but look. It looks really cool and we were very, very excited to get on it. <laughs> so this is kind of where the line started as you make your way into the building to actually go on the inside part of the line. And uh, as you can see, it starts to get really cool very quickly. <laughs> Attention users, you are into the world of Tron. So as you come out of that room, you head into like a U-shape uh, queue system that bends round where the ride kind of comes underneath you. Uh, and this kind of gave me very kind of a Hollywood, um, no, what's it called? Oh, Rock and Roller Coaster vibes at Hollywood Studios, uh, where the ride comes up, stops, and then you kind of wait for it to, uh, you know, launch you. Then as you move around from there, you move into another room for another queue system. Obviously, no one's in it for us, which is great, but it's a really cool vibe. It's that dark and blue and that kind of techno feel. Um, and it was, yeah, it's just a really nice setting. Remember, you need a number. You will be piloting especially much. I've never seen this film. When the gate opens, follow your path on the floor. If you are assigned with our vehicle, you must walk behind the light cycle. Then you head into the locker room where you've got to scan your pass or your magic band to open up the locker and to put your bags away. Right, you ready, Taylor? What's really cool is when you get off yeah. the ride, the, uh, it brings you up behind the lockers, so it gets very disorientated. It's like, where am I? And then you, it's, you, you're the back end of the lockers. But then you move through into the next bit, which is like the loading part of the ride, 
Uh, and again, just that kind of atmosphere, the vibe, the blues, it, it's just cool. Oh, we have to go to different sides. I'm not sure this side. So I thought this was really cool. It's a Tron design all over the whole canvas. If you kind of look up and notice it, can't really see it on the camera. But this is the ride as it starts off and then goes into the main building for the main part of the ride. Then here is the train, uh, Walt Disney World train, as it kind of goes underneath Tron. And what's really cool is it goes through a massive tunnel, so you, know, you don't hear the train get affected by the smoke or the, the steam coming out of it. Uh, there's a ride again. I just love watching the ride. You can see they're still working on stuff out here. They've got the bushes out covering what I assume is the shop. And then that was it. Our cast preview was done. We left again a very busy Magic Kingdom. I was kind of glad we were leaving. Okay, what did you think of the ride? It was great. It was really good, wasn't it? And it was so easy too. Like yeah. It's 10.47. We got here less than an hour. Got on there a bit early. Yeah. Now we're going to head to Epcot and try and get on Guardians because our group's been called. So that was the Tron preview and it was a really good ride. I really enjoy it. Taylor's done Tron before actually in, in Shanghai when she went over there. Um, but I've never done it before. I didn't, I've never really seen it before. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, and it was really good. Like, it, was, it was a weird ride because you, you sit on it like a motorbike and then you kind of lean forwards and you grab hold of these like metal handles that you pull towards you. And as you pull it towards you, it kind of closes around your legs and then like a thing comes and pushes on your lower back. So you're, you're, you're leaning forward like this, um, kind of like a Superman position kind of. And yeah, it, it's good. It feels to me like a mix between rock and roller coaster and, you know, Maybe a little bit of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride uh, to a degree, but as you saw in the in the in the queue ride there, come round like a U shape and it the the ride leaves, um, but it stops and then there's like a little do 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 and it's like <laughs> off you go. It's fast straight out of the thing and that's where you go straight outside first and you come outside do the loop and then you go through that little hole. Um, and then you go inside and yeah, it's all like screens and stuff and you go around. I'd rate it maybe seven, seven and a half, eight out of 10, eight and a half, somewhere between there. It's, um, I will say Guardians of the Galaxy ride is my favorite ride ever. Now, it's, it, I don't think it beats Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy is better. And the fact that we did Tron and then went and did Guardians of the Galaxy straight after, um, we were able to compare straight away. And it was, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy is good the best as i said like the music was loud it was intense as you walk in so you it kind of gets you ready i was like yeah i want to do this I'm, I'm ready for it um the queue system was really cool all the blue lights and stuff recommend it highly recommend it when you get the chance in april if you get a chance to go and do it go and do it me and taylor get to go and ride it again because taylor also that was my cast preview taylor's cast preview um is going to be in the evening time towards the end of february so we get to ride it again and we'll get we'll get to compare um how it is and maybe at night time and like if anything like looks different as well so very excited about that um just yeah it was a good time it was a great time <laughs>